uh, an event, maybe a pretty major event, that could bring in a lot of money. So I think we should be looking at this and we should be experimenting with it. And I think that Tucker's proposal is a great way to see. Maybe it'll be a catastrophe. I give him credit for, for staking his wedding day on it and I commend his bride-to-be for being flexible enough. It might be horrible. Maybe the electricity won't work. Maybe it'll be a disaster. That would teach us a lot. Then we could put this to bed. We don't want to have events there. And it might be spectacular with very little impact on the town. I mean, we, had, we accepted the Beach to Beacon, right? We didn't know much about it. It's turned into a huge thing, right? People would say it's fairly inconvenient for the town. The town loves it. We had events in the park in the town I grew up in. People loved it. It was charming. You'd go by, there'd be a tent there. You'd say, that's so nice. Someone's getting married. So I feel eager <coughs> to give this a shot. And if it doesn't work, we'll say no. If it does work in terms of the precedent, then we say, this is great, we loved it, and we're working on the process to make this become something that people can have more access to. We need a month or something to work it out. But I see this as an opportunity that sometimes you have to be spontaneous and give it a shot. OK. Uh, Frank, and then I'll turn back to Mr. Nickerson. Frank? Bill, um, at the workshop you had, you had public comments. I'm just curious what no. Oh, there's no public comments? No. Have you had any letters or any I'm, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear your question. Was, were there public comments? I was wondering if there any public comments on this. Um, was the workshop open to the public? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, secondly, the location of the tent, maybe. Oh. Frank, can I interrupt you for a second? I would be more than willing to turn over a email I received from Mr. Carter and just take myself completely out of the picture. He was um, mortified that the town would turn around and say no to somebody's family in an aspect that developed the town and started it the way it did. Now, I didn't encourage it, I didn't ask him, but from somebody being completely outside of the picture and that was there on his, on his own means to talk about the food vendor, mm -hmm. um, there, is, there is a lot of public comment out there and there are a lot of people that, that feel that, and I'm not trying to use the fact that I'm a Jordan and I'm a direct descendant of Reverend Robert Jordan that settled this town but that there are a lot of people that feel that um, if the town is going to go and have a wedding there, that right there is precedence alone that the first person that you allowed to do it was somebody that founded the town and started it, and that is a whole other ball game in itself and an angle that you guys can you know, use to spin. It, Sorry for interrupting. No, that's okay. And if I may, uh, I, I really appreciate the fact that you have made this proposal to the town, and I agree with a lot of what Ann said, and I agree, frankly, with a lot of what Sarah Lennon said. Um, and I think because it's you, I, I think we're taking this seriously, but at the end of the day, I'm evaluating the merits of this proposal, regardless of the name on the application. Um, and I guess I'll just state my view on this is I just don't think, feel like we're quite ready. Uh, for this proposal, and I think it's, I, I hope someday we will have weddings down on the green, perhaps, but I just think the issue needs to be vetted a bit more, and you, you know, there's something called uh, uh, paralysis through analysis, uh, but I, I, I think the Fort Williams Advisory Commission is moving the ball forward on this idea. It may be that a year from now we're holding a 100-person <laughs> wedding down on the green, but I, I just am not comfortable where things stand now trying to pursue this and, you know, with my apologies, uh, I'm not planning to support the proposal. But Jessica, did you have a question or a comment? No, I, I just wanted to comment. Um, I um, certainly appreciate, Tucker, all the work you've put into your proposals and the time you've spent with the Advisory Commission and also the Advisory Commission's time. Um, I also have to say that I will not favor your proposal and I, regretfully, it's your wedding and I, but I, have to say timing is everything. I really don't feel that the uh, advisory commission nor is the town ready. Um, and I'd like to comment on Councillor Lennon's comments. I mean, the Beach to Beacon, there was a tremendous amount of planning that went into that before it ever occurred. And although, and I was at that school board uh, meeting at the high school, um, School board parents, yes, suggested that there be weddings at the fort, but they also suggested there be parking fees at the fort, and then the town voted them down. So we have to be very careful. I think that our experience with our vendor proposals has gone very well. Um, hopefully we will have weddings, but there, there's so many logistical issues, um, and we don't 
we don't want to, we want to have things well planned. And if we jump into this, we, we would set a precedence not only for weddings, but for other events, like other kinds of concerts. I mean, there are many things that have been proposed that could be held at the fort. And again, these require tremendous planning and success to be successful. And we would want it to be successful. And again, I, I just have to say, I don't think we're ready. So I, I'm very sorry, but I don't think we're ready. Okay. Any other questions or comments from the council? Uh, uh, I was Bill, you, I'm was sorry, Bill, and then Councillor Lennon's comments and about um, putting our toe in the water. And we haven't eliminated the idea. In fact, we thought we might have a wedding a reception or two there. We were thinking it would be up near the picnic shelter. It would be maybe 100 people. You know that we would start smaller and in a contained area that we know and that we know has um, the utilities and the other things that are needed that is away from the lighthouse and, and, and use that as our learning experience and then decide where these should migrate to if they, sh you know, and, and, and in the context of maybe having a few smaller receptions um, in, the, in, the, in conjunction with the uh, master plan, look at, you know, I, I'm just throwing out the idea, maybe the highest and best use of the athletic field isn't as an athletic field if, you know, we're trying to, generate revenue out of Fort Williams. Maybe that is space that's too valuable. And I'm, that's my personal, I'm just, I was up there today just looking around and, and it's elevated. And if you cut down some sumac bushes, um, you, you know, it's not next to the lighthouse, but you can see out over the ocean. And um, so there's still a water view and it's away from the lighthouse. And, um, and so I just think it's going back to what several of you have said it, it's it, part of it is the planning and and being ready to do it right when we decide to do it and not leap off a cliff and then set a precedent and wish we'd never done it so All right, thank you bill uh tucker did you want to well, have the last word so to well, speak if i if i may just have the opportunity sure. to dr address some of the issues that the sure. council's brought up because my understanding is that the workshop that I was at, I was granted permission to move forward and have the reception at the fort, at the picnic shelter, correct? So my proposal is, is not that I'm asking for permission to have the wedding. I've already got that. I'm asking for permission to have it on the green. I'm asking for the town council to take that into consideration that people aren't going to want to pay $3,000 to have it on the picnic shelter with that cement um, building in front of them when they can go down to SMCC and have the entire coastline and um, access to both Bug Light and Spring Point Light. Um, if I may, um, timing, they say timing isn't right. I, I brought this proposal to the Fort Williams Advisory Committee in appropriate time. So this has all been in the works. It's not like I just jumped into this, unfortunately. You know, I, I don't know how to explain why time has gone by, but I brought this forward. Um, everybody is, you know, people's concern is that it's an eyesore to the town, or it's an eyesore to people coming in. Half of my invitations are to people in the town, and the other half is to people visiting the town. So if they were coming in, they were going to be, they'd be coming to the, they'd be coming to the White House anyway, because, um, if you got, if the decision is no, my wedding is in Kabosh, there's nothing that's going to get terminated. I'm, I'm going to go down to Two Lights and, and have it in Billy Bamford's Strawberry Field. I mean, my wedding is going to happen. I'm kind of giving the town the opportunity to say, okay, who's going to pay $3,000 for the very first wedding and have it be completely ruined? And then a whole other can of worms opens up as oh, I was promised all this by the town of Cape Elizabeth and they didn't deliver or it didn't go the way I wanted it to. Um, the parking issue, I brought the parking up to have it on the access road. I never mentioned anything about being a back gate open. Um, as, as a firefighter, I would think that would be very hazardous to, the, to both the town and, and the ability to get fire equipment back there. People would come in and navigate to that going up through where the old officer buildings are. Um, the, the mention of the fire pit at the picnic shelter, there's, 
and uh, in the in a lobster and steak bake, there is no fire pit needed. It's all propane steamers and and a grill, um, and there's no and if there is any steam or smoke generated with the location of the grain, it's it's down in almost like a valley, like a mountain. Everything's going to blow out to sea. Um, the red box, and I'm sorry that it's so small. The red box that's on your picture from Google Earth is drawn to scale. People would not be inconvenienced. The tent would not be stretched all the way to the road that goes to the cliff. And quite. Could just try to wrap it up. I'm. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, there's a lot. There, I'm sorry. Yes. No, that's okay. Uh, I mean, I five five days out of out of the summer for the town to generate. I mean, some serious cash to help out with shortfall. I would think would be more than a willing inconvenience to people that are coming to the coming to the fort and coming to the town. Um, other, other than that, I really we need to wrap it up. If okay. it, you, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. To That's okay. Uh, so I, mean, I, I mean, I think we we've council. we've heard. Uh, your presentation. We really appreciate all your points. Yep. Is there somebody else who is planning to speak? Yes, actually, I have some. There is a precedent for this at uh, a wedding at Fort William because I performed at it. Um, talking about a wedding reception or a wedding ceremony? Wedding ceremony. Well, I, I think that wedding ceremonies are held at Fort Williams okay. routinely. Well, it was, uh, we were the music, so I, do, okay, I, I guess I misunderstood then. But this was several years ago. Uh, could have been 10 years ago. I've done a couple hundred weddings. I'm in the group. So, uh, no, my understanding is that ceremonies are routinely held at the. They are okay. Then I, I, I stand corrected. We were just uh, a ceremony. Music again? What's that? We had a ceremony with music. Yes, we did the music. Okay, we show. yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, thank you. All right. Um, I, and with due respect to the applicant, I really do appreciate your yep. presentation. But I think we I need to call the question. <laughs> is there a, a motion uh, and a second that we can have final discussion among the council? Is there a motion? Uh, Jessica. Um, I move that we uh, deny Tucker Jordan's request for a wedding reception on the green at Fort Williams. Is there a second? Second. A okay, motion's been made and seconded. Any further discussion? Hold on. The motion is to deny it? Correct. Oh. Don't you usually set the motion like what's in the pack? Well, I... I, I think yeah, I think the, the the motion is either I suppose I was anticipating somebody to make a motion for it or to deny it. So I, okay. if this someone gets voted down, then would have a second motion to approve it. Um, I, I will just I am planning to vote in favor of this motion to deny. And the the issue that I'm finding very uncomfortable is I would rather that the Fort Limbs Advisory Commission come up with sort of the procedures for how weddings are to operate and be held at the fort and then we approve those procedures and policies so then when John Smith or Jane Doe comes along and wants to do something the issue is do they comply with the procedure and then they're not coming to the town council saying hey you denied me my, the wedding that I've always dreamed of and I know that's not what you're doing Tucker but I find it a bit uncomfortable to say the least to have somebody come up and say this this is the way I want to have my wedding please approve it when we haven't quite gotten to the parameters of how this is going to work and I do hope that someday uh, we will see more weddings and special events happening at the fort but as I as I've said and I think a lot of us have said we're not quite ready yes I, I just wanted to confirm that if the motion to deny passes the Fort Williams recommendation still stands to allow the wedding at the picnic shelter based on the customary picnic shelter rules and the permission to set up the tent. and would that include the cut include the customary picnic shelter fees. It would also. include cus the customary fees as well. Customary fees, customary rules, everything. Okay. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't mean to interrupt. Um, I, I'm really, I'm going to be very respectful. I apologize. The, yeah, it, right, sir, right now, I mean, I just, I, right you, now you're saying no to the green, but not saying no to the wedding. Right. That's correct. Okay. Thank, um, yeah. thank you. Oh, okay. All right. I didn't, I didn't realize this how the proposal motion. Was only about, I think it should Location. be, yeah. this should be well, in the, in the, 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 the motion should be clear that the, we're not weighing in on his wedding. All we're saying is what, you, what essentially the motion should be, can he use the green? That, that's correct. My, the, the motion has been made to simply deny the request to use the green as the location, but otherwise the permission that's been granted is... 
but I can do every, I can do anything else I want on the picnic shelter. Well, <laughs> I, I think you. Uh, yeah, I, yeah. I mean, my understanding is.